What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamacy here, and today we have an update uh, for 2.5. This is going to be around the Terror Zones, just a quick PTR update. It might not have a lot in it, um, but I'm curious what they're going to say. We're, we haven't really gotten much information since Terror Zones were announced and PTR came out, so hopefully this is... Uh, yeah, you know, hopefully there's something cool in it. I have not seen it, so let's take a look. Hey all, apologies for the silence on the PTR front. We want to provide a few updates here. The team is spending last week going through the survey information and community reports from PTR. There may be another iteration of PTR as the team wants to implement some items based off the feedback, but that is still being determined. Interesting. Okay. So they are considering changing up Terra Zones right there. We are running up against some scheduling timelines and want to make sure we can get 2.4 out the door sooner rather than later and get Season 2 kicked off for ladder. Because we are all eagerly waiting for sure. Extending PTR to continue to test and iterate will of course hold those two dates back. We're going to see if we can fit something in the existing timeline for right now, but if we can't we may use some of the buffer between patch 2.5 hitting and Season 2 starting to assure we can get some additional game time from players on some of the Terror Zone items. I mean, I do think it is important that they don't get this fully wrong. Now, they could always just put it in for the league and then remove it and have a different thing for next league, or they could, you know, adjust if needed. Um, but, you know, I, I do think there were still some things for sure to test. Some top-level items from feedback. Players were noticing some zones were kind of not great for terror zones, so expect some to be moved out and others moved in. Goodbye, Lord Karas. It was nice knowing you. Oh, it was a terrible zone. I didn't need that. Um, hopefully they just can combine some of those as well. You know, like LK could go with the, you know, Kuros Bazaar and the Upper Kuros. They could kind of do like, cross like that. Maybe it'd be more, it just more fun and more productive. Players found some of the content TZ, of the content TZ content to be easy, but we also can determine what characters played on PTR who offered that specific feedback. And we noticed a lot of this came from hammered in players. <laughs> the team has some ideas on this and we'll be sharing that soon. I expect it to create a bit of a shift in build class opportunities for players. Okay, now that is... Uh, I want to come back to this. We will have more info on unlock conditions for terror zones and how long each one will be terrorized as well. We appreciate those who offered their thoughts on this. Oh, so they're looking at maybe it not being every hour. Interesting. Lastly, I know there are a lot of voices wanting this in single player. I can say it's being looked into, but for now, I would expect this to be a ladder season two feature as we're able to make tweaks to online numbers on the fly. While single player has different values for experience and needs to be tuned differently. That makes sense. The desire is high, but we want to get this nailed down for ladder play first and move into looking at it for offline afterwards. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. I I would like this in single player, but I do think you got to be careful in how you tune it and all of that stuff for sure. If it's just in ladder, it's just for the season, you know. Um, lastly, I wanted to clear up, and I play single player more than anybody. And I still understand that and would say, you know, once they get it kind of more set and figured out, then I'd like for them to bring it back. Last thing I wanted to clear up on the S2 timing is there's a bunch of confusion on this. And honestly, it's 100% understandable why there is confusion. Before Season 1 began, we noted that we're aiming to have Seasons last four months. We're obviously past that timeline. And to be 100% honest, we didn't plan very well on our end for that date. You had four months to plan for it. Terror Zones was a cool feature we wanted to nail correctly as it teetered back and forth on the line of should we do this or not? Many times throughout development, and with that it caused a little bit of a delay on the season transition. I just wanted to state that and apologize for the murkiness around when that season transition would occur. We are looking at, looking at mitigating this issue for future seasons in D2R. The current order of operations is that we will end PTR here soon and start submission for final builds on 2.5 and get that out to everyone in the live environment. Season 1 to Season 2 will happen fairly immediately. Wow. We expect Season 2 to start a week or two after 2.5 hits, so we have a date that everyone's aligned on and knows about. Season 1 will literally end the second we transition to Season 2. For example, Season 1 will go until 4.49 and then Season 2 begins at 5 o'clock. 
As more dates become aligned here in the coming week, we'll provide updates to give a better window in 2.5 and Season 2 for the community. Um, there is there is something to to really talk about in this. Number one is hammered in OP, nerf hammered in. I mean, just destroy, make concentration have no effect on hammers, and then boost blessed hammer in its damage slightly. All of a sudden, you go from you know 15, 16, 14k hammers, whatever, to like five, six k hammers. You've dropped it down in strength. It's still one of the best characters in the game, and it's not even half as good as it was before. Um, I think that would help a lot, but that's my personal opinion. You know, there's going to be plenty of hammered and people in the chat who are like, don't do it, and that's fine. A lot of people don't like nerfs. They want everything to just keep going stronger, uh, but I think that's boring. I think it would be cool because then you could run a different aura, you know? So it's like you could run it with Salvation. You could run it with, uh, you know cleansing you could run it with meditation you know it kind of makes it like that is strong in its own right you know but it would still be really fun um overall but this is the interesting part this is the part i think we need to uh we need to look at the team has some ideas on this and we will be sharing that soon i expect it to create a sh uh, a bit of a shift in build class opportunities with players so does this mean they are nerfing Hammerdens, or does it mean they're buffing other characters? They're like creating some sort of damage alternate source way to, I don't know. This is a very sneaky, but like big line. I mean, this is the whole thing, um, you know, right there. Changes to resist within terror zones. Maybe the resistances shift. Now they ha now they have more magic resist in them, and then other ones they drop fire immune but gain magic immune. Whatever, right? Like maybe they they do something like that. I don't know. This right here though does give me some uh, some hope, some thoughts for sure. I expect it to create a bit of a shift in build class opportunities for players. I mean, again, they're saying they're going to do something to push us away from just playing Hammerdon. So, who knows? Who knows? I look, I look forward to seeing what they say. Uh, comment down below with what you think is going to happen how they're going to make this a reality so everybody doesn't just play Hammerdon all the time and Hammerdon doesn't just destroy every terror zone immediately. I don't know. Don't forget to like and subscribe, YouTube. Appreciate you guys being here. I'll keep you updated with anything in the future. Peace.